Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring and Side Quest. I've spotted something I missed before. Can you see it? It's on screen. Trick question. It's, it is on screen, but it's invisible. You haven't spotted it. I think there might be an invisible path back here. Um, I was just noticing before I started recording. Oh, hey. Those messages and items seem conspicuous. <laughs> Hovering in the sky. Across that broken bridge. Maybe, maybe that's a thing to look into. And get rid of that sword. So we might have to look into that. I know there's at least one thing, obviously, that's still to be done. Which is figure out how to get down there. Which might just be jumping. Um, to get there though, I think we're going to need to go back in that lovely place. And then figure this out. I'm sure there's more I'm missing out here, too. There's stuff I'm missing everywhere. That's probably going to be the theme of the day, actually. Stuff that's been missed. But let's start by trying to get downward. As planned. But slowly and non-lethally. If possible. I think we can make this. Especially with these rocks over here. Yeah, alright. And then... Yeah, okay, because we've been here. We got to this part. And then it was... This drop, which is... A little scarier. I felt like there was one spot that looked a little... Like there's a rock there. We could maybe land on on the way down. That might be the ticket. And then once we get there, there's an elevator, which will probably make it easier to get up and down as desired. Maybe, heck, maybe there's a lever over here. Or a lever. I forget how my nationality is supposed to say it. Or maybe we can just walk down there. <laughs> That's also a fine alternative. Good grief. So, made it. Um, what else is here? Pretty sunsets, for one. Everyone's always complaining about the spider scorpions and the rot pests and all that stuff. But no one ever talks about the beautiful sunsets out in this country. Oh, hey. We do have a sun here. That's nice. Everyone's always complaining about the bad stuff. And they're right to do so. Can you blame them? Look at all this bad stuff. Gimme. Give. Hmm. I'm gonna try hitting you with this sword instead. Uh, that's not a sword. The sword, though. There. There. Whatever will knock you on the ground. Milady didn't seem to be doing it. Okay. We got flowers. Aspect of the Crucible Bloom. Intriguing. I'd very much like to read about that. I was just about to say aloud, I'm not seeing anything else here to do or get. But historically, that is the surest sign that there is something still for me to see or do or get. So, um, maybe one more little quick look around. Flower, we're not fighting. I, I've fought plenty of you, thanks. 
Unless this, like, obliterates you wicked fast, and it might. Eh, it's not bad. Especially if it's gonna stun you like that. It's gonna hurt. Whew. Yeah, sure. This gets you on fire enough. It's still a really good sword, I don't know what to tell you. Nerfs have done very little to slow this sword down from being bonkers good. Kinda seems like it needed a nerf, <laughs> to be honest, for how good it was. But yeah, okay, let's read. Let's read about the thing. Aspect of the Crucible Bloom is interesting. Creates a Miranda flower on one's chest before calling down a rain of light. Charging increases potency. In an age long past, before this land was enshrouded in shadow, the vitality of the Crucible flourished. That's interesting. So this was not always enshrouded in shadow. And the Crucible flourished then. I wonder if this shadow tree here... Like, geographically, I, I don't know exactly where the lands between falls in relation to this. If it's literally above us, or if we're on sort of like a different plane of existence in the same space, or... Or, or what's happening, but, like, it being shadowed almost sort of suggests, like, the Erd Tree is above it. Like, the Erd Tree grew and flourished above it, blocking out all the light down here. I remember in one of uh, Vati's early Elden Ring lore videos, he had sort of speculated about the the Erd Tree being something of, like, a parasite, almost, that had, uh, grown upon, like, the life or essence of the Great Tree that came before, the something that the Crucible was affiliated with. And then walking that back later, because, like, trees... <laughs> trees, like most live things, consume and absorb nutrients. It's not inherently a parasitic relationship. It would be very, very funny if the actual lore of this <laughs> looped back around to Vati actually having been right <laughs> all along with that guess way back in the day. Uh, Uppy is okay. And to where? Works for me. In fact, this might bring me... Ooh. Give. Clear out, guys. I want to grab this. Nice. Another revered spirit ash for me. Am I on the floor I want to be to try out the maybe invisible bridge? I just might be? Maybe. Maybe. Eh. Maybe not. No, somewhere around here. Where is it? Hmm. I am seeing floating stuff in the air just up there. So we're one floor down and a little bit too far north. Let me figure out how to get back up there. While fighting as few of these pests as possible. This is a bad idea. I just really I just really don't want to fight all of them. Maybe they'll forget about me, or at the very least, I can fight them over here, not in the middle of rot. That'd be cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. Y'all are gonna wish he hadn't done that. Nerp. Yep, yep, yep. Told you. Should have minded your own business. Okay. So this is interesting. Haven't had much cause to dig out rainbow stones in a bit. Need him on the hot bar. Where are you? There you go. Okay. Well. Here we go. Still nerve-wracking to do. Suppose I could also do this with arrows. I could just run straight across. It's just... I feel like there's gonna be a gap. Really love to have a, like the Elden Ring equivalent of the bomb chew. <laughs> to send forward ahead of me right now. Think we're okay. Yay, what is this? It looks very interesting. Raise the stone sheathed sword. Hey, this is the thing. We found the thing. Hang on. Might as well, like, equip it. We found the thing. Raise the stone sheathed sword to the light. Why, yes. And I got me a new sword. Sword of light. Cool. Sword of light pulled from its stone scabbard at an altar. From the quick of the root, unswerving rays of light intersect and reflect to give the silver blade form. Unique skill is light. Unleashes the light carved in the armament's blade. Send the sword aloft to let loose a blinding light whose many rays sweep through the surrounding area. Also temporarily boosts one's own holy attacks. This seems great. This seems like a good sword. Scales with strength primarily. But there's some faith in there. Yeah, we might have to uh, level that up and look at it later. I'm intrigued. Is that all this is for? Wow. These things are very far apart. Glad I spotted this. As far as I know, I'm done out here. There's no question in my mind that some things were missed. And if any of them are important, I'm sure y'all will tell me. Because you have been telling me all the important things I'm missing elsewhere. On that note, let's start. I feel like that's going to be the rest of today, probably. There was, first things first, a ladder down in these awful catacombs that I looked at and forgot about because there were just tons of branching paths. <laughs> so, um, apparently there's something good down there. Let's, let's go look would be these stupid catacombs that I gotta come back to. It's the worst. Why do I have this many axes? Well, 
This could take a little bit. Let me get down to that, um... Let me get down to that there ladder again, because it's pretty far down there. Be right back with you. Okay, here we are. Yeah, I spotted it, observed it. I think I must have thought that I'd either been down here already or that there was like another way that I was going to get down here somehow. I don't know. I was, I saw it and then saw another path and forgot about it. Ah, goody. This is a pretty good looking item over here, though. Ooh. It's a pretty good one to have. Hmm. Overkill, but it is working for us. not as much as I would have liked. Eh. This is not good closed quarters to be in. Oh boy. Get out of there. Come on, man. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Everything is good and fine. And that might have been the only item down here. Seems like it anyway. I saw another item further up there, though I'm also not sure how to reach that part. And it doesn't look like quite as crucial an item, so if I don't manage to get up there, that's probably okay, but... Hmm. I'll do a quick look around. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I came up here before. And I don't think I like it. At least if I did, I don't remember that part. I think I must have. That was scary, though. What's on either side? Probably a way to jump down, but... Oh, and there's another shiny there. Yeah, I don't think I came to this part. So, apparently, I've been told there's a way to actually break these things, kind of. And I don't know if it's intended or not. Something about, like, hitting them with either, like, ghost flame or the death effect or something. Hang on, let me let me dig in my inventory and see if I have anything that might do. Okay. Uh, apparently, it's black flame is the thing that can actually break these. Which is a pretty rare effect. And I don't know if I have anything on me. I think, like, Malakath's black blade might be the one thing that would work. I don't know if this counts. Uh, and if it doesn't, then I don't think I have anything else currently in my inventory. That would do it, but I am very curious. If I, like, just hit it, no. If I do this... I don't think that did anything. I don't think that counts. There's also a ghost flame, but that's not really... I don't think that's the same thing as black flame. Well. I do still have that ghost flame torch. I can try it. I think what we might need is actually like one of the swords off of the god skins. Or something similar. But yeah, I, I don't think that's doing anything. Tragically. It's neat, though.
They apparently don't even have, like, a death or a breaking animation or anything. It's just... It's a thing that stops them doing that effect. And the fact that they don't have an animation suggests that it's possible that's just a bug or an oversight, so that might get fixed. Heck, maybe it's already been. Eh, uh, get my hammer back. But yeah, this is where the boss was, so I have I have been down here. Okay, well, I am content with what all I found down here. What else? Where else was I to be going? Right. I think I think it was this hill. There's something apparently that I missed up here as well, or someplace similar. We'll look here first. Correction. Sorry, it was not up on this. I was misremembering which thing I was jumping up onto. I think it was this spirit spring thing that I jump up. And then there was a, yeah, there was a chest up here. And then, I think anyway. I feel like this is where folks were saying more was. I don't know if it's just like an item or something. Hang on. Okay, now I'm, now I'm starting to see it. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Um, careful. Eh, okay. I don't think I have been here. Um. Ooh. Quite a lot more up here than I expected. It seems fancy. Divine Bird Warrior Ornis. Cool. Um. I'd love to know more. Used to summon the spirit of Ornis, the Divine Bird Warrior. Spirit of the Divine Bird Warrior from whom the Horned Warriors claim descent. Clad in golden armor and granted wings and feathers by divine invocation. Ornis succeeded in taming the Divine Bird and made its wings his own as he soared through the sky. When he finally fell to earth, he lived on as the guardian deity of the Temple Quarter. When they say the Horned Warriors... Okay, now that's probably like the Horned Warriors of like Bellarat. Which does make sense, like they fight with the same two-sword sort of a... Uh, scimitar style sort of thing. I was wondering if they were meaning like the Crucible Knights we know. And the Crucible Knights, I have a suspicion, are, are derived from this bunch. But uh... Yeah, it definitely seems like there's connection there. Cool though, okay. Yeah, that was worth coming back out here for. Huzzah. Um... What else? What else was I missing and forgetting? Right, there was, like, I think there was, like, a flying scarab up here that was, like, on camera, very briefly, but that I didn't spot in the moment. It was very small. It was, like, from a distance. Um, I'd love to see if I can find that. Let me, um, give me a second. There we go. Cleared out the space. And, yep. There it is. Hadn't noticed you before. Someone in the comments was very clever about it with the hinting, saying, like, there's more to see here, but in order to uh, get it, you gotta do what gamers never do. Implying, look up. Which, you don't even have to specify, like, you don't even have to narrow it down to gamers. That's just, that's humans. We don't look up above us, above our eyeline very often. Unless we got a reason. Eh. It's not working. Come back here. Where are you? Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave. Eee. Rolling sparks. This Ash of War grants no affinity, but imparts the following skill. Scatter perfumed powder before you, triggering rolling explosions of deadly sparks. The properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottle used. Very cool. I feel like whenever Dan and I do randomizer stuff, I'm really hoping that I find perfumer toys often, because I feel like if I can... A perfumer build seems like a fun, weird thing to try doing. I don't know how well it would work, but it seems pretty darn fun. I don't know if this is the first one of these I got. Robe of an Erd Tree Capital Perfumer. 
The thick front apron embroidered with a depiction of the Erd tree is proof of mastery of the apothecarial arts, and its weight symbolizes the onus of both pride and responsibility. Neat. Well, that's everything just about outside this place, but uh, wouldn't you know it, um, there's a lot I'm still missing in this place, and not even the stuff that I already kind of knew about, or knew to look for. So, uh, we're gonna have to be a little more thorough again, <laughs> going through. And in order to get in there, I feel like we should go in this entrance. We didn't try going in this cave entrance down here earlier. We saw it, but I, I didn't go in before. And, um, I've not really seen where this comes out, so, like, I feel like there's a whole part of this we've not maybe seen yet. So, uh, yeah. And while I'm here, I think we can afford a level, so let's get one. Yeah. Almost 250. Okay. Also, as many folks have advised, I have added Knight's Lightning Spear to my hotbar, because apparently it is a bonkers good incantation. Like, enough that it had to be nerfed, and it's still very good. So I'm on board for trying. Let's see what happens when we go in this way. It's a long, open, and empty, seemingly unguarded space, so I'm increasingly expecting some kind of shenanigans. Like a giant Indiana Jones boulder. The stairs even kind of like have a little bit of indented pattern down the center, which increasingly... feels sketchy. And... Well, I guess now we're in the dungeon proper, so maybe... Yeah, we've not been here. We've not been to this part. Neat. Well, let's look around. The Shadowkeep Church District. Cool. I feel like we have a key for something here in the Church District. It's very flooded. Why is it very flooded? Huh. Who flooded the church district? And why? Oh, right. Can't mount up in here. It was going to help with jumps. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I thought it might not. But maybe we can drain the area. Ooh. What if? We can probably reach that. Go! The crabs run this district now. Pious little things. And I'm seeing... No, they're not Albanarics. Well, or are they? They kind of look like it. Albanarics whose legs haven't, like, faded yet. I think that model is meant to be Albinorix. It resembles them. But maybe that's a misunderstanding that I've just clung to for a very long time. Uh, okay, we can jump here. Ooh. What was that? What was that? Uh, 
Hello? I'm nervous now. One of us souls protagonists should really learn to swim. Sekiro can't be the only one. What is down there? Oh, that's a... That's one of those Erd Tree root things. I think. Good. That does make me think we're going to be able to drain the water here, and as a reward, we get to fight one of those things again. Yay. They spoil us. Oop. Okay. What else can I reach with careful jumps? It's going to be very funny if I fall in the water and actually I'm fine and I can just walk down there. Tarnish can breathe underwater. Didn't you know? It's always been true, we just never asked. Eh? Um... No. I'd prefer not. I'm gonna take this. Sorry. Sorry, crab. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can get somewhere up here. We're going to have to be very careful up here. Just not to get knocked around too much. What if this? That is pretty strong. Not even charged up or anything, that was just... 2300. Are we all not going to explode all of a sudden? Bye. Fine. Uh, oh. Hello. Um, is this your roof? Let's start staggering you so you aren't more of a problem. Okay. This is going fine. Um. Yeah, I know you're down there. Be patient. It's kind of wild that, uh, we've had to do, like, traversal and jumping and navigation puzzles to, like, avoid lava. But, um, between lava and water, the thing we need to survive. One of those is much, much more dangerous, and it's not the one you'd think. It's a cool area. I think we'll be jumping down there, but, um... Yeah. 
Not seeing a lot of other exciting options for places to stand safely. Down this way. I think we're doing this. And from here, probably down there. There's something shiny over there, though. Ugh. Slightly nerve-wracking, but we are fine. Not worth it. Guess this would have been safer. Any reason not to drop down into this spot? These connect, yeah? I think they do. Looks like they do. Great. Super curious to see how this place connects to the rest of the keep. Like, it's got to pop up somewhere that I didn't spot topside. Or maybe you can't actually, like, get in to the rest of the Shadow Keep through here. Maybe this is just another branch of the place that you can only access from the outside. That'd be interesting, too. Oh, hello. Get him. Okay. Good. Hmm. No. This might be... Well, yeah. kind of looks like it'll eventually be a lift, but, uh, not yet. Well, hang on. Yeah. What if this is the lever for the drain to drain... To drain the whole district. Could have been. Hmm. Don't like that. I don't like what they are suggesting. Don't know if I want to try it right now. Hmm. Where are my other exits? Here's a door, but... Prayer room key! There we go. America, mother to us all, favor me with thy grace. I have met many who would threaten or distress thee, and quelled each and all. And I hereby swear to never cease. So please, grant me thy grace. Leave me with my solitary light. I think I know who this is. Hey, if you are who I think you are, you've been a real pain. Queen Marika, I implore thee, bestow thy grace. Take not from me my solitary light. Use Iris of Grace or Iris of, Occ of Occultation. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. Those items that I was mentioning last week and wondering about, we've found the use for them. Now we gotta decide which we do. Just to refresh. Place on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Place on the eye of another to deny them light in all its forms. Hmm. I mean, I've got every reason in the world to be mean to them, given they've invaded me a couple times. And they seem very, very zealous. So, 
giving them further inspiration is probably just going to make them more and more of a problem, but I am... I know this won't probably end well for me or for him, given how, like, <laughs> given how it goes for NPCs and Souls games who get what they want. <laughs> but, uh, I'm curious to see what happens if we do grant them what they want. Queen Marika, I implore thee, bestow thy grace. Take not from me my solitary light. All right, well, here you go. Iris of Grace. Ah, uh, Queen Marika, dearest mother. Guess again. I shall silence all who would trespass upon thy peace, as decreed by the grace of gold. <sighs> no soul shall thy sanctity imperil. You're a little late. Ah, neat. Fire Knight Quiline. Wonder what happens when you do the other thing. Probably like get his gear or some such. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Fire Knight Quiline. Attacks immediately after being summoned. Spirit of a knight granted relief by the Iris of Grace. Wields a spear like great sword that impales foes upon fire, keeping the taint of impurity away from fair Mother America. That grace was his salvation, though it was but a fleeting blessing. And having been saved, all that was left to him was to wage war. Neat. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened the other way. Maybe I'll find out someday. That was neat. Didn't expect to find another NPC down here. So here's a route further on. Here's another. Hmm. Let's look at this one first. Lift. This is going a long way. Um. We've arrived in here somewhere. Maybe it's a part of here I was not able to get before. Or, hmm. I think I have been to this part. Well, I say that, but, um. Maybe not. Oh, no, this is where this, this caster was. Across here. You, jerk. I remember now. I was able to go across there, and I was able to drop down there, but I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to get to this part. And there's a grace fire here, and I see a tall ladder over there. This might be the entrance you come through to get to, like, all the other stuff in this darn place. This is one of the most complex dungeons they've ever made. It's really impressive. Bonkers. And we're not even done down there. We'll probably start down there tomorrow. We probably should, or else I'll forget. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you for more of this place yet again <laughs> tomorrow. Take care till then. Bye!